Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Sugar C, and I'm back with another video. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to do Bob Butterfly Locks, Distress Locks, however you guys want to call it. And I will be doing it on long hair. So I'm just going to be showing you guys how to tuck your hair in under the lock. I have already braided her whole head. Um, this method is better for me, so I don't have no anxiety. I cannot do it lock for lock, so I braided it first. And now I'm just going to be putting it up in a bun and leaving the last row out. I am adding the Cuban twist here onto each braid and then I'm gonna start adding the free twist braid in here. This is one way to wrap the hair. You're just going to pull the features here through the, the braid and start wrapping around her natural hair and the Cuban twist hair. When I get to the desired length, I'm just going to be wrapping her actual hair up on the lock and then I'm going to wrap around it. This is the second way to tuck your natural hair in for bob locks. You're just going to pull it through your actual braid from the root, I should say. Now you're just going to crochet in your passion twist hair. I always say passion twist hair, but the free twist hair as well. I'm just opening that up first so it's a little fluffy. You're going to loop that into the root of your braid and start wrapping around both.
since her natural hair is already tucked, I'm just going to be wrapping the Cuban twist here up instead of her natural hair. And I'm going to wrap the passion twist here around it, if that makes any sense. This is the third way to tuck your natural hair. I'm going to show you guys how I do that. I'm just making the passion twist here a little fluffy, pulling it through her root, and then start wrapping. I forgot to mention, when you are wrapping the free twist here, make sure you are pulling on the hair as you wrap because it will unravel if it's not tight enough. The hair is very soft. Here is when you're going to tuck the braid. I usually do it after so I know what left to do. So I just pass, I pass the hook up through a braid and pull it through.
When I am completely finished with her hair, I'm going to be adding some growth oil. This will also moisturize her roots since she has dry scalp. That's pretty much it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. See you in my next video.